Hello everybody, I'm Nicole from the Halliburton County Public Library, and today we're going to be doing Harry Potter wooden spoons. So, they're just painted spoons, so here's the examples I did, and here's what you're going to need. So you'll need wooden spoons, I have a pack of three I'll be showing you, paint brushes, truthfully with the size of the spoons I'm using, the smaller brushes are better. I have a glass of water, I have my paint tray, and I have a lot of different colors of paint. Anything you need for prepping your work area, so a plastic bag, paper towels to wipe the paintbrushes off. Okay, so let's get started. With the amount of detail on action person saves, I can't do that. So, I went online, I found some simplified versions of the characters. Here's the ones I found. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do three different characters. I'm going to do Harry Potter, Voldemort, and Moaning Myrtle. The first thing I recommend doing is actually painting the whole area you'll be painting with the, stink, the skin coat, skin color coat. So I'm going to do Voldemort and Moaning Myrtle as pretty much the same color, just a little bit different, just a tone different. So I just have a very light gray here, and I'm going to use just a straight gray, light gray for Moaning Myrtle. So I'm gonna paint both sides, all the sides of it, of the spoon, and this color. It just kind of helps even everything out, especially if, your wooden spoons absorb a lot of paint, it just helps kind of stop that problem. And I just go down the uh, handle a bit, and then I'm just going to put this one to, so to the side. And then I'm going, this one was for Moaning Myrtle. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to the color for uh, Voldemort. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing, paint all the sides. If you don't like the tint you're using, you can always add more and just repaint it. So like I said, I'm not too stuck that is really dark. So I'm gonna add some more white to that and I'm just gonna add a coat on top. For the actual flesh-toned characters, I mixed a little bit of, like a drop of yellow, a drop of brown, and a lot of white. And then I just kind of colored it to what looked natural for them, I guess. So I'm just reusing some of my original color. Like I said, it is just kind of a flesh tone. You don't have to paint a spoon if your original spoon color is basically a flesh tone. Um, that being said, it just kind of helps even up the surface as well. So while these dry, which doesn't take long between the wood absorbing some of the moisture and just the actual drying process, one thing to note though is the lines. If you don't like the lines, try to use a very fine brush. Should take most of them out. So while that's drying, I'm going to make the colors I need for the characters. So Morning Myrtle is a lot of gray and black and a little bit of white. So I'm just gonna have some of those on the tray. And I'm not coloring the eyes too much. I just put the black dots for the eyes. It tends to look pretty good, so I go with it. So when I'm mixing colors, I tend to add, I do have bottles with just the straight colors most of the time. I add sometimes a little gold, a little silver here and there, just to add a little um, definition. Okay, so this is mostly dry. 
One of the thicker spots is still a little wet, but I'm just going to brush that off. So I'm going to do Moaning Myrtle first. One of the things I've noticed when I was doing examples is I use this brush the most. It is a very small ended brush and probably the easiest to do the detailing with. So that being said, I start with the eyes and then I go to the hair and then I go to the details. So Moaning Myrtle and Another trick I had figured out was to use the edge, the end, the brush, it doesn't have the brush on it, to do the eyes. Kind of just made it a little bit easier and I didn't get the weird strands off to the side from the brushes. So with my thin brush, I'm going to kind of outline how I want the hair. So I want her pigtails be about here. Lightly trace out where I want it to be. So after I outline it, I just take a bit of a wider brush and I just paint in where One thing I'm going to add is I'm going to take a little bit of that paint I used for the skin tone, which is a dark gray, and I'm just going to mix in some black paint and I'm going to put in kind of like pigtail holders. Next thing I'm going to add are the glasses. So she has the big glasses, big round glasses. And then kind of a, a frowny face, just kind of a set face. I'm just gonna outline the face a little bit with a line of black. Um, the ones I had done, the line for the face kind of met up with the scarf that I had on them. She doesn't wear the scarf, so. So on the other ones, I only did the top part. So I'm not gonna put feet on her. I'm just gonna kinda, okay. And then I'm going to take some of that gray I made for the hair band, hair elastics. And I'm going to kinda color in a skirt for her. I'm just adding more of that very light tone to that same gray for the shirt. Like I said, Money Myrtle is a very monotoned. So I'll put her aside in a second to dry. The other thing I've done, especially if the characters had long hair, is I just painted up the sides. That's all I'm doing here. So I'll put Money Myrtle over, over to the side and let her dry. So the next one I'm going to do is uh, Voldemort. And him I'm gonna do a bit differently. And the drawing I have, let me show you this. His eyes are red. I'm gonna actually do that. I know in the movies and that he just has the normal colored eyes, but I think by that red on this will actually make it pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna go with it. And then I, like I said, I use this little brush a lot. Just gonna take the little brush again and just fix the shape a little bit. Okay, and because he's Voldemort, he gets two little nostril holes. And 
and I'm going to turn Spoon up and I'm just going to draw a light outline of his ears because I know they're kind of flat on his head. And he has some horrible drawing ears. And just drawing. So that's his chin outline. Yes, I know it's very thick, sorry. And then this is going to be his rose. So on the bottom here, I'm just going to kind of, my plan for the bottom is to actually put, and I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong, Nagini on the bottom, the snake. Kind of twirl her body up. Like so. And then I have another green, I'm just going to Take a mix of that color, and I'm going to with a dry brush because this paint's still wet. I'm just going to so it's not so smooth, so it kind of looks more like a snake. Okay, there's my Voldemort in Nagini. Uh, Harry Potter. I can't mess up on this. This is the character. <laughs> okay, so the eyeballs again. I'm just going to do black. I'm going to take a faint pink I had done for um, the glasses I used on Luna, an example. And I'm going to put the lightning bolt on before I even do the hair. Potter shaggy hairstyle. And take the black and draw on the glasses. And then I'm just going to do the chin lines scarf mix. Okay. So what I do for scarf is I just kind of outline it. And then I outline the um, uniform. So they have a V neck in their robes, but I just kind of make it so the scarf covers most of it. And then, so Gryffindor's colors are the red and red and yellow, yellow, yellowish gold, whatever. So I just take a little bit and I just make little squares. Now what you could do, if you really wanted to, is you could make the scarf go straight down and make the whole oh, the whole handle of the spoon into the scarf. Um, so instead of doing the snake idea, you would just make the scarf come down the, che the neck and you'd make the scarf start here and go all the way down as just straight scarf. And whatever colors the house is for that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the black and then fill in the robes. So I am actually going to tell, show you what I meant by the color, but I'm just gonna do the front side so that, so I'm going to divide it up with a bit of black paint into different colors. You can do smaller sections, but.
So there I go. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I do go back a lot and I will fiddle with things and so that is it. Um, there are lots of different characters you can do. Um, I did Luna and Ginny and Hagrid for the example. Okay, so that's the craft. Thank you for joining me. So some of them turned out a lot better than the others. Um, I really like the Ginny and Hagrid and the owl. Um, so do whatever characters you like. Um, you can get really creative and add like feathers if you do the owl. Um, you could do a phoenix one and add some fake feathers or you can even add some fake paper flames to it as they owls burn up or owls phoenixes burn up. I hope you enjoy it and I 